Hi guys, Belle here and I'm coming back on to do the third instalment of my altered book. I want to get on quickly because this, we're going to have a lot of instalments. So if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm going through um, start to finish process of creating an altered book using these beautiful kits. All links will be down below to the kits that I am using and to the previous two videos. What I also wanted to say, if you are crafting along with me, I don't know what you're using, but I pulled out some Edith Holden book pages, August, September and October, because they're kind of the autumnal months and I thought they'd work well. I particularly want the ones with writing on because I thought they'd work well with the kits that I'm doing. So last week we did these pages. So we're now on to this page. I want to do the pocket page first because you've seen me do the blank pages before. So I've left this as a three page pocket page and I want to do uh, like triangular or side triangular. So it kind of comes like down like that. So I'm going to do that and obviously leave space up here. I don't want it straight to the corner because I don't want it easy to tear when you're putting things in and out. And then this one, I'm going to do it a bit. So I don't want them looking identical. It doesn't bother me that they're not identical, you know, along because that would again mean that's at a weaker point and it doesn't bother me that we're not going to see much of this because we're going to have things in and out of it anyway so let's get started I did change my ink pad so that I'm not having um ink pad shame so in the background here I want to use one of these beautiful pages and well actually let's work out what we're going to use for this page first um, I'm thinking for that page I might want some more pumpkins um, or maybe not maybe one of these but they'll go back at the best at the back let me have a look okay so we haven't used this page yet so let's use this one again links to these kits will be down below thinking I might just use this so what I did do off camera is I trimmed all the edges so you're not watching me trim everything because that can get a bit boring and that's that page let's just I'm just measuring it up as you know I like to leave a little gap around all my pages just to show that it is an altered book you don't have to that's how I like to do it um, so yeah, that's just what I like to do, but oh, I've done it again. I doubled it over. It's still be in the same place, roughly. Um, yeah, and I also have a book page as a template. So two things we're going to do first. First of all, I'm going to trim this just cut it down I am going to leave some because as I said in the previous videos it then um, gives a bit of stability if you are taking things in and out of the pockets then I'm just going to glue those down and the next one like so and then I'm going to trim, what did I do with that piece? I'm going to trim, get my paper trimmer and I'm just going to trim this to size and then work with it from there. Again, it doesn't bother me if it's a bit short because I like having page around. So let's have a look if that will fit. No, nope, that's a good fit. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the edges and go from 
there and I am using walnut stain to really help add to the autumnal feel. Of course you're going to use whatever ink that goes with whatever you're using in your book. And I am going to, where's a book page? I'm going to glue on here so that I can get the page stuck down and then go from there. So I've put my glue book page page behind. You could use um, like parchment paper, baking paper, anything like that. I'm just going to line it up so that I've got some edge on either side like so and again I don't mind this blank spot I want to use images and then I'm going to fold that over to where it's got its fold trim it off again and there's also a little bit to trim just here at the top can you see that because it's a bit wider than the book so just trim that off and then I'm going to glue it down and I'm going to use the glue book because I really want to get a good amount of glue on here so that it really sticks and obviously you can use your bone folder to really burnish those edges um, I'm okay I do need a bit of glue here where it just didn't stick onto the page very well so like so and then I will ink those edges before we move on so here I was actually thinking what would work really well is some of that Edith Holden um book page like this bit here that would work well so this is where i need my book page templates which i seem to have mislaid hold on guys doesn't matter because i have more of the book pages and I'm just going to use my book page template to rip out some of this. That was not straight at all. <laughs> Good job there, Belle. Good job. You need it as straight as possible because obviously it's going inside. I'm going to cut the August bit off because I want to use that. And then this should work better now. That's that and that. Don't want to lose those. Obviously, we don't need all of this page. So I'm going to put it here. Fold it over. So if I kind of cut, let's have a look. Oh, it goes all the way to there. So if I kind of cut or rip just under this bit of writing, that should give me plenty to work with. And again, let's ink the edge of this. Just so it's inked up. We don't need to ink the top yet until it actually goes in and gets stuck down. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. Where's my sticky page? And I am going to glue the actual page here. Here. 
mainly in the middle because that's what I need and along the edge. Let's do the edge first. Need it near the top, the edge. Let's make sure that matches up. Yes, good, good, good. That all matches. Let's stick this down, make sure there's no glue there because we don't want our pages sticking together. And then again, I'm gonna turn it over fold it, trim with the book page there too, which is there, <laughs> and then glue really, really well. Really press that down and glue that. That can go now. Really need to get these edges glued. Got to make sure they're glued well because obviously if you're putting things in and out of the pocket you don't want the paper underneath to be coming up like that and it's just a little bit of writing that gives it a little bit of detail and breaks up the imagery so we're going to be using now um, so I've got these here. I'm thinking, do I want something like that? I think I do. I quite like that against there. It's nice and simple, wasn't it? Um, so again, let's get the book page. And then we can tear... and tear obviously I don't need the whole book page I actually need about part of it so let's have a look what I need bring the book back let's have a look what I need right, so probably to about here I'd say just marked that perfect and I like to keep all my papers together with the right kits with paper clips. It just makes my life a lot easier when I'm looking for papers. So let's get that stuck. And this one I will have to ink the top of as well as the edge. But I don't have to do the inside edge because you're not going to see that. You're only going to see this edge or part of it and this edge so I don't need to and then that's going to go in like that I might actually have to trim a little bit more off I might just trim a smidge off so that it's not overlapping the other pages on the side okay then and then let's glue this and get it down and get our first pocket done. So I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, and, you know, I love to hear that some of you are actually crafting along to it, which is brilliant. I'm going to try and tell you at the end of each video if you need anything new for the next week's episode. Um, at the moment, we're just going to be using our papers and maybe some tea stain paper or some writing paper to do um, things like this. Uh, but other than that, it's just the digital papers for the moment. Now that's, that's really good. Oh, I like that. Right, so let's ink these two pocket tops. Pocket tops. Sounds like a kid's toy, doesn't it? A pocket top. And just the edges here and we are going to glue these down so we're going to glue, glue, glue this page down first 
and again edge here edge along here really good stick in there and as I said in the last video try and close the book down this was a tip I got from Gail Gustinelli <clears throat> if you close let the book fall closed the pages are much more likely to fall to where they're supposed to be and glue them like so and then I like to just press around the edges to make sure I've really got those two glued together that keeps coming up so I'm just going to glue that down that's on camera I mean it's going to be glued down in a minute anyway but just to make sure and then <clears throat> on this one again glue the edge you need to get the new one of these glues out again I like to do just a little bit in the corner here just to make sure the two spines really of the pages really stick together and again let the book fall closed and really really press down depending on your glue depends how long you have to do this for I know some glues almost stick instantaneously this one sticks quickly but it also gives me enough time if I have to maneuver anything so there we have that pocket there just want to make sure if we turn the page that it's all okay on the other side and press down from there two so yeah just turn your page a few times and see if it works in your book and if not just press it and play around with it until it does and whilst that is drying I like to also like squidge my page a little bit. Whilst that is drying, we'll work on this page before we get onto the next pocket page. And again, I want it to be something like this. So I'm thinking this would be a good page because I've got this space up here that I could write on. Yes, yes, I could. But um, I'm not going to. I'm going to still put some tea stain paper on it. I'm going to use one of the book pages as a template again. And where did my ruler go to? How? Oh, it's over there. It's going to say, how have I lost my ruler? But you can. You can just leave it like that. You don't have to do anything else with it. Um, I will be decorating at some point, but I just want the pages like this that not straight did I not rip it straight I'm telling you guys I am awful at using a ruler to rip things so let's just double check yep that's not straight at all let's trim that now so that's going to go here and I need to take just a smidge off the top so that I've got um book page edge all the way around again that's what I like to have because again if you're going to use a altered book especially if you're using a vintage one this isn't vintage but if you are I like that on display so that you know um, it's just personal taste so it's up to you if you want to go all the way to the edges of the paper or whether like me you're going to leave them so that you um have some book page showing let's glue this on a flat surface shall we Belle so yeah it's lovely hearing some of you are crafting along with me I hope this is helpful I hope you're enjoying it there's going to be quite a few videos because we have a lot of pages to do in some of the later videos we'll probably be replicating pockets so I might just tell you the pocket I'm doing show you the quick way to do it and then um, fast forward so that the videos aren't as long and we can get more in if that makes sense and there we go again another tip I like to do is I like to turn mine to the side because I'm leaving some book page I just like to be able to see that I've got it down that way as I'm on camera so obviously there's some space there so I want to use some tea stain paper and I'm thinking just a little bit would work well on here just a tiny bit of tea stain paper and then yeah 
let's trim it to where I want it so about there and it just adds it gives you more writing space if I left it you'd probably have more writing space but I don't want to leave it I want to add the tea stain paper <laughs> and that will just look really nice there I'm going to ink it and when we come to decorate I'll probably put a little embellishment on here or stamp something just to really make it stand out and look nice so let's glue this down now and then we will be on to the next pocket guys we hope I'm on screen with all that I'll change my book page after I've glued this and stuck it on I mean I say autumn's in the air I went out yesterday and considering we are almost well probably exactly almost mid-october so there we go guys just some tea stain paper on there considering that um why is that pocket keep coming off i don't think i glued it very well considering that it was bright bright sunshine yesterday and hot i'd taken a cup of tea with me going to pick my son up from work I'd taken a cup of tea because I like to take a cup of tea with me or a drink of water because you know waiting for him and stuff um and then I didn't need it I should have taken a bottle I had to take my um cardi off because it was just I was just too hot okay so you can see I've already played around with this pocket idea so it's the one page I had two pages two pages to make a pocket from so I took the one page I turned it over, I wanted to fold both sides up but leave a gap here again because you're putting things in and out of pockets. So I'm going to trim this and glue it. So this is going to be a double tag pocket. Which I'll show you in a minute. So let's glue, glue that glue page first. And let's glue this down glue page underneath so I'm mainly getting this side and glue that down so yeah it's going to be a double tag pocket so what I need to think first is what I'm going to put on here and because I don't know what I'm going to put over this side yet and I'm thinking I might want like a a page of some sort maybe something like that would be nice I think something like this would be nice so let's get my book oh that's the wrong book page that's my glue book page and then again we could put some writing or some leaves underneath I will work that out when I to it so and have I done it wonky again possibly what is the point just use the guillotine bell just use the guillotine I mean it doesn't matter perfectly because these edges are going inside anyway so don't know why I'm fussing <laughs> and I'm going to ink all around this well, the side. And part of the top and bottom. Won't need it all, but we will need some. And then that's going to be stuck on there. Like that. Again, I need to trim just a little bit off the top to make sure I've got book edge showing. That should be it. Let's make sure that's inked again. then I'm going to do what I did before I'm going to get the book page underneath here so that I can glue all of this first makes it much much easier than trying to glue on the paper again leave a little gap not going all the way to the edges except on this bit Ugh, so much glue 
Like that. And then let's have a look at what I want. Make sure it's the same up here. I want that much gap with the spine, probably not. So let's do it this way. This might help me. So I get to see the spine and the edges. I've got to see that. Really press that down, especially where the spine is. Now turn it over. And now I can flip this over and press it and then flip this one over and press it and we're going to do what we did before we're going to trim a little bit because we don't need all of that and I can use that in collage work so it won't go to waste then I am going to glue them really press down and this side so that it looks like that guys oh doesn't that look pretty I think it does I'm just gonna ink the edges now because we know where it is and ink this edge too not exactly flat onto that book page. There we go. That's better. All right. So now we have to work out what to put behind. And I'm thinking I might just use one of the ones I've used before. Because I've got these half cut pages. So like I'm just going to get them out and see what works with the colours. I don't think that works well let's try this one love this one with the fur cones on it that's quite nice yeah I like that I think that works well so let's get this trimmed hold on a minute guys Sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call. So what I did was I just cut it down to size, trimmed the top bit. Now I'm going to ink again. Really love this paper so much. Again, the links to these kits, if you haven't seen already, are down below. Um, really loving working with them. And then just glue this down. Let's move the book again. Glue on a flat surface. It's helpful really glue the edges it's been so hard for me guys not to stitch in this i mean i will add stitching detail somehow maybe on the embellishments and we'll be putting some fabric tabs um if that's your thing i will be adding fabric tabs obviously if you're not into that you can add whatever you want or not add anything at all it's absolutely fine so again i'm gonna get the edge of my book just see where that edge is, have a good look, really press down, make sure those edges inside are really, really glued well. I can already see that one's not. Um, so I'm going to glue that like so, really press down well. Now we're going to turn this into a double pocket. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to glue this edge. Make sure this is on camera. Glue here. Again, I'm going to make sure I get a little bit in the edges. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to glue roughly in the middle. Just down the middle of that page. I'm not even measuring it out. I'm just roughly doing it. And then same again. Close the book up. And let it flat and really press including that middle bit and then 
we will have a pocket here and a pocket here which are really good because you will probably put tags in here I'm going to probably add ribbon or fabric to mine and it will stick out the side of the book and just look really lovely so this pocket's playing me up and it's irritating me <laughs> so I think it just needs pressing into place because it's three pockets it just really needs pressing into place so there we go that's better okay so now we're going to do this page so I'm thinking I might want to do another pocket page but my problem with that right now is because this page is playing me up and this is just because of the kind of book I've got guys you shouldn't have these problems but it just goes to show so again I'm just moving it around a lot I'm just softening the page up I'm moving the glue I'm doing all that I'm just getting it nice and soft so that the page ends up falling where it wants to and I know that it's going to be all right because I want to put a pocket on there guys we can't put a pocket on if it's not doing what it's supposed to do so yeah again I think it's just my book some books play like that they're not as easy see this one's folded perfectly just like the others have so let's put a pocket on here what I think I might want to do is use some Edith Holden and I might want to actually put the two autumn at the top of there I think that will look really nice and you will work for me because I say so. I am the crafter. So I'm going to trim this down. Just the way I roughly want it. And we're not going to see it all, just like with the other page. We're not going to see it all. And I'm going to measure roughly. And I'll probably have it to the bottom of here. So that's what I'm going to do. I really like the fact that it's said to autumn. Because obviously it's an autumn journal. So move that over there. And I'm going to ink all around. And then glue that down getting right into those edges because I seem to keep forgetting the edges and then that will go there and I'm doing it upside down <laughs> so that I can see just gonna press like so and then I've got some I'm using um, just some craft card it's quite thick this craft card and again I'm going to measure and I don't want the craft card going straight into here because it's going to add bulk and it's going to make it harder to open and close the book and open and close the pockets as we're working so don't put it right to the spine I'm gonna trim this a little bit yeah don't put it right to the spine guys um, I just want it like here so you see there's gap so that it should open and close better and then we're gonna have an image on here so now I'm gonna have to look at what images I've got so what's on the other pocket? These green leaves. So I could have something else. I could have something like that. That's too brown. Mm, that's quite nice. Quite like the brown leaf bit. Although this is really nice. And it's got the acorns. Okay, this is what I'm going to go for. And again, I'm just going to measure it out because I want it to fit inside the pocket with a border of the craft card. So 
And let's just do that. Trying to do this on camera is always a bit of a struggle to be able to see. I'm not measuring. <laughs> I hate measuring. If I can get away with it, I will. But then again, I always hate things not looking straight either. So it's a bit of a, it's a double-edged sword. If I can get away with me without measuring, I will do that. But sometimes you just have to so that it doesn't bother me when I'm opening the book. And again, you could stitch this paper onto the pocket. I'm trying not to stitch on this bit because I know not everyone has a sewing machine or not everyone has is comfortable using a sewing machine. And I'm just going to also ink around the pocket a little bit. Now I'm using craft card because it really, for me, it's helping to pick up the um, colours in the rest of the papers but obviously you can use whatever card you want whatever color you want um yep just use what you've got and use what's in your craft stash because that is the best way Like in a lot of my journals, I love using my black card as an outline. But again, normally I would stitch all the way around this. It's taking all of my effort not to stitch because I just love, 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 love stitching. So let's get this stuck on. Did I put a notch in the other one? Yes, I did. So let's do the same. So I've just got my stamp. I don't even know how big this circle is, but it's my circle stamp. And I use it to make my notches. Again, just not even measuring properly. Just, I didn't cut great. Um, just eyeing it. Just eyeballing roughly where the middle is. And then inking in there. So, yeah. And use my glue. Oh, I just love that sound even. <laughs> How much ASMR does crafting give, guys? It's just wonderful. Um, and then I'm going to bring it to the side. Well, upside down again. So I can kind of put it on roughly where I want it. And I can see better this way. You will be able to see okay. Because you won't have a camera just above you <laughs> getting in the way. And you don't want to see the top of my head. So that is going to go there. And then, yeah, got to make sure because this pocket's playing me up that it's all stuck down. Doesn't that look lovely, guys? And the fact that it says to autumn just here. And then we've got the pocket here, the double pocket, like I said. And there. And now we're on to this page. Now we're going to do this pocket first again so that we can get the pockets done. So again, this is a triple pocket. And this time I want to do side tucks. So I'm going to bring it this way. and I'm going to just tuck this bit down a little bit. Like that. Don't want it tucked all the way down because we want a gap here, but we want to still be able to get a pocket here. And then I'm going to tuck this even further down. See that, guys? So now we have a triple pocket. And you know what we're going to do by now. We're going to glue this down here. Like so. To make sure that it's stuck. And to reinforce those edges. When you're putting things in and out of the pockets. In my vintage book, that was even harder to do because the pockets were so um, fragile, the pages. So some of the pages did rip. But if I'm honest, that kind of added to the look for me um, because it was kind of a grungy nature one. So it really did add to that look. And it was easy to fix with some washi or some more glue. But just be aware, if you don't want your pockets ripping, then make sure 
you um, reinforce them. So I have this strip of paper. So I'm thinking of just using this strip of paper because it'll work perfectly and then it uses it up. Use a pencil on there and trim that because we all know by now I cannot cut with, um, cannot rip with a ruler straight, and that will aggravate me. And let's ink the edges of that. And then glue this down well. And then we have to work out what papers we're using for the other pages. You yeah, hope I'm on camera. I tend to glue off camera because even in my daily crafting, I tend to glue to the side because this is my workspace. Um, so I tend to always glue off camera. So if I'm doing that, I apologise. I will try not to. And then again, layer it up. I want to see the edges in this one I mean I like to leave edge but I like it to be um, top and bottom look as similar as possible you know in what I've left as a border so that's going to go like that and then we've got this one and I'm wondering I mean we could just do another one of these it would be double that stuff but I don't mind that and I could collage it like I could use two different bits that are left like if I wanted it like that hmm and do an extra leaf there because I do like that with that okay or I have a long piece here, very autumnal colours then. See, I think that's too similar in colour to this one. So I am, I'm going to use this little bit, unless I've got a long green one. Just check. Do you know what? I'm just going to use this little bit. Uh, I really like how that looks. So I'm going to use that. And I'm not going to ink that bit because that will make it obvious where the gap is. And we don't want that. Let's glue that. And then I've got this little one here, which I think comes from that page. We don't want that. This, I am going to, I think, trim that and use that bit. Like so. And ink here. Ink that a little bit and again I'm not inking this bit because it will make it very obvious that there is a gap there but again just a bit of collage and this one I'm not actually going to put over the edge this one I'm going to leave a little border because again it leaves a little definition between one pocket and the other and we've already reinforced that pocket by sticking the other piece down anyway so that is not a problem and uh, yeah so I just want that little border to add that little bit of definition even though I'm going to ink it like so and then let's try and get this matched up so again I'm going to have it this way guys because this works for me um, just try and match it up with that piece. I mean, can you tell it's a bit different? Yes, but when that's closed, it doesn't actually look too bad. Oh, I like that. And now we need to work out what to use here. Um, so we do have some pumpkins. So I could use some pumpkins, but I like those. Like we've got some pumpkin here we would only use part of it but then I'm wondering if I want that on this page I think I want that on that page 
so let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look we do have this page and that might look quite nice like that or the other way so let's trim it to size first and then I can make my decision as to which way round I want it there's still a lot of trimming in this considering I tried to cut everything so we wouldn't have to constantly be trimming on camera um, and I've got to remember to trim part of the top off so let's do this one okay and let's have a look so I can have it like that or I can have it like that let's ink that bit and then that'll really help me make my decision because I'm looking at it right now thinking that's a lot of like light, light color I think I like it I think I like it like that so that's the way I'm going to have it, guys, and just ink this again. And let's do this. Glue, 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 glue. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> oh, dear me. And again, turn the book so I can see really well. Just matching up, making sure I've got enough border here that's similar to this size and similar to this and enough of this so they're kind of li all lining up, which is what I want. I really love how that looks and I can put just a little image there if I want to. I was thinking, why is it coming up? Oh, that's right, because I haven't actually stuck them down yet. I haven't glued them down yet. That's why it's coming up, Belle. So I'm just adding a little bit of ink now here and a little bit here. Okay, so that's that one. Let's glue. Again, glue the edges. Good amount of glue so that it sticks. Again, let the book fall closed on its own and just press down really firmly. And then I'm gonna do this one. I will have a new glue <laughs> by the time I do the next installment. Oh, I didn't take my own advice then. I didn't let the book fall closed as I was doing it. Let's put the lid on the glue. really press down and then as usual I go to the other side and press that side just to make sure oh and there we have it guys a triple pocket there now you could have put a notch in each of those but I didn't so there we go <laughs> and I think do I want some of these pumpkins or do I want these pumpkins I think I want these ones because there's more green on them and it will pick up the green colours over there. So let's make sure that's okay. Again, just bend the page a little bit. And then I'm going to trim and trim. Do that. Now I could leave it like that. I actually think I might leave it like that because... I might do a little tuck spot at the top, which when we get there, I will show you. So I might just do that, Let's ink it all. I mean, there is writing space, so I could add more tea stain paper if I wanted, um, but I'm thinking a top tuck would look really nice on there let's get this glued let's oh let's check first shall we check it first belt yep 
get it glued and then I'll show you the kind of thing that I mean. You probably know what I mean, but still, just in case. Fingers get so messy. Okay, let's glue this down. Make sure I'm looking at the edges. Nope, see, wasn't looking at the edges properly. There we go. And again, I don't mind that there's a gap there. If you do, you can move the paper over. If I really feel it's too white, I can just add a bit of ink down there like that. I don't mind. So what I'm thinking of as a top tuck spot is um, cutting out a shape a bit like this, but probably out of the card. Oh gosh, I've got leaves everywhere. I was working on another project. And then it would stick up there like that, like I'd cut it in half, it would stick up there and I could tuck something underneath it so guys this page is really going to bother me i will have to fix this probably off camera but i think it just needs a bit of bending i think that's it so i think that's it guys i think we're done the next page i think i wanted to do a side tuck anyway so that'll be nice and simple and it'll be similar to the top tuck that we've seen but um, I'm not sure I have time for that not now, guys. So let's have a look at what we've done. So we've done this page. Then we've done a double pocket here. So we've done a pocket there. Done a double pocket here. A plain page that we're going to do a tuck spot. And two pockets there. And I think that's it for now, guys. So again, for the next video, all you will need is your tea dye paper, any card you're using for pockets, and some more of the scrapbook or digitals or whatever paper you're using to make the pockets. And I'm hoping we can get through the next ones quite quickly. Okay, that's it for now, guys. I hope you're enjoying this series. Once... Um, We'll come back and hopefully this will be dried and done properly. I think it's because there's just so many pages. Anyway, there we go. That's it. That's episode three finished with, guys. I will be back again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys, I hope you are safe and I hope you're having lots of crafty fun. Bye for now.